One of the most effective ways you can speed up your video editing workflow is by organizing your media files. And as it turns out, organization just so happens to be one of the first obstacles people new to video editing get hung up on. So in this video, I'm going to give you a few examples of file structures that you can use in your editing projects so you can quickly and easily find your media, add them to your timeline, and complete your projects. Let's get started. Before we jump in, let me just say this. The way you organize your editing projects, just like almost every other part of your editing workflow, is a deeply personal thing. What works for me might not work for you. And vice versa. So if you don't like the file structures I suggest in this video, I highly encourage you to keep experimenting until you find something that you can work with. Also, while we will talk about DaVinci Resolve in this video, most of the work we'll be doing is in the file explorer on our computer. Okay, so how do you build a file structure for an editing project? The truth is, it really depends on the type of project you're working on. Is it a simple talking head YouTube video, a commercial for a doctor, a movie or TV episode, this question alone will help you determine how to set up your files. Let's take a look at a simple file structure for a talking head YouTube video. First, we'll need to think about all the different elements we'll have in our video and make a folder for each of those elements. For example, in our video, we'll have footage, audio, and graphics. You might also have photos, depending on the type of video you're making. If you do, create a folder for that too. Now we'll break it down even further. Let's open up the footage folder. Now it's unlikely that you'll only have one type of footage. In most cases, you'll have both a roll, which is all of the footage containing dialogue, and B-roll, which is supplemental footage that's used to enhance the story and visualize the dialogue. So we'll create a folder for A-roll and a folder for B-roll. Now let's say we have multiple cameras that we're using for our A-roll. For example, I might have my Pocket 6K as a main angle and my Sony ZV-1 as my secondary. If that's the case, I'll open up my A-roll folder and create a folder for each video source. Same with the B-roll folder. We'll create a folder for the Pocket 6K, the ZV-1, the iPhone 13 Pro, and for good measure, one for stock footage. I'm also going to place a folder for screen recordings in my B-roll folder because my screen recordings typically don't have dialogue. If I was doing more real-time tutorials, I would place them in the A-roll folder. Now, let's open up our audio folder. Again, we're likely working with multiple types of audio. If you recorded your main audio separately from your video, you'll likely have dialogue. You'll also most likely have music and sound effects. So again, we'll create a folder for each type of audio. Audio. Now let's take a look at the graphics. For this, we'll likely only have a couple types of graphics, motion graphics and stationary. So again, we'll create a folder for each and then we're done. Now, what do we do with a larger project with multiple scenes? It's pretty simple, really. First, what we'll do is create a folder for each scene. For example, in my visual effects tutorials, I usually have a folder for the sketch in the beginning and a folder for the main video. Then in each of those folders, I'll create the same type of file structure as I did for the simple video in each of the scene folders. From there, we can organize all of our files into the appropriate folders and we're done. Quick pro tip, to save a lot of time and energy, it might be a good idea to create sort of a dummy folder structure in the file explorer on your computer. Then instead of having to create a new one from scratch, scratch, each time you start a project, you can simply copy, paste, and rename the folders as needed. So now that we have our folders created and our media files organized, how do we keep it all organized when we import them into DaVinci Resolve? There's actually a couple ways to do this, and they're both pretty simple. Let's start off in the edit page. We're going to do the tried and true drag and drop method. All we have to do is open up our file explorer, navigate to our top level folders, highlight them, and drag them and drop them into our bins. The other method is to go into the media page, which has the file explorer on your computer built right into it. Again, simply navigate to your top level folders and drag them into your bins. Now, if we click on those bins, we'll see that our entire higher file structure along with our media has been imported into our project. 
Now, pro tip number two, once you've brought your media into DaVinci Resolve, create a new top level bin and label it timelines. This will be the bin where you keep all of your timelines. That way, if you have more than one, they'll be easy to find. Now, between you and me, I prefer using the media page to import my folders and media because it gives me access to a whole bunch of tools that will allow me to further organize my media and improve my workflow. I'll be talking about all of that in an upcoming video, so make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss that. Then check out these DaVinci Resolve workflow hacks right here, and until next time, don't forget to go out and make stuff. Thanks for watching.